This is the Van Riesel RCR of Irish Sprinter, previous green jersey winner and multiple Tour de France stage winner, Sam Bennett. Now, I'm going to tell you everything about this bike and all the details of it. This is the first Van Riesel RCR that I've actually seen in person and it looks absolutely spectacular. Let's get to it. So this bike is, as I said, the first time I've seen one of these and the RCR has been incredibly successful for Azure de Decathlon. They've, you know, had a phenomenal year, their best year in a long, as far as I can remember really, just so many victories. And a large part of that is down to the fact that the riders all seem to just absolutely love this new bike. And when you see it in person, it does actually look a lot better, I think, because, I mean, I thought it looked good before, but especially in the sun today, you can see little like flecks, um, like metallic flecks of like silver, like in, in the blue as well, and on the top tube here. And there's actually a nice sort of gradient of color there. It looks really cool. And then on the top of the bike, there's a sticker that says aerodynamics tested by Onera, which is basically like French NASA. Cool, but uh, yeah, it's had some, some serious air engineering expertise thrown behind it. Um, the other thing that I'll just get the overall things out of the way is Sam's about 176 centimeters and he's riding a size small. This is actually his number three bike. There's a number three on it there. That's because he's out on a training ride ahead of the Tour de France right now. And uh, he's riding his number one bike and his number two one is on the car behind him. So we've got his number three. Um, so this normally sits on top of the second team car when he's out during a race. We were also chatting to Sam before he went for his training ride. And one of the things that is quite clear is he's very detailed and very particular about the position he has on the bike. Um, so much so that he was asking the mechanic to just change the, the seat post by like one millimeter and making sure that all of his bikes were set up exactly the same. Um, and while we're on the subject of the seat post area, uh, it's quite interesting that he's also got an unusual seat post. So rather than having one with lay back, um, he's actually got one that sort of lays forward and brings him more over um, the bottom bracket there. And then on top, I believe that is a Physique um, Aliante saddle there, one with carbon rails. The bike is decked out with the best of best, you know, full Shimano Jura Ace everywhere. Uh, and he's got a Shimano power meter on there as well with 170 cranks. Um, and the chain rings on this particular bike are his standard setup, which is 54, 40 chain rings paired with uh, the 1134 cassette on the back, which is kind of what the standard sort of thing the pros are running now. But I have seen him on some of his other bikes running much, much bigger chain rings than that, particularly for the sprints. He's also a rider that experiments sometimes with one by systems. So keep an eye out for that. But I've, I've, on certain flat stages of say the Tour de France, yeah, he, he will put on really big chain rings, um, you know, as big as 58 and things like that. So yeah, keep an eye out if you see those during the racing. Uh, the cockpit, I've actually got my tape measure here. So it's really nice integrated Von Riesel uh, all-in-one affair. Let's just have a look at the sort of stem length. So the, by my measurements, that is an integrated 120 millimeter stem. And then the bar is measuring 40 to 40 on the outside, well, 40 on the outside and sort of 37 centimeters uh, center to center. So nice and narrow for sprinting, but there's a slight flare on the drops. On that, he's got some nice physique uh, bar tape and an out front mount underslung for his Wahoo. Uh, a really cool thing though, is that I know that Sam actually sets up all of the bikes that he has, so all of them, so this like, for his Wahoo computer um, with the shifter buttons that are on top of the Jura A shifters to change the screens on his Wahoo. And he was telling us that he likes to do that because he feels safer in the bunch and doesn't want to have to take his hands off the brakes to change the page uh, on his Wahoo. So he can do it from his thumb buttons. I think that's a really cool feature, really good thing to see that he's doing um, and making use of, of the tech. Also, he's got some sprint shifters attached into his setup, but they're not in the usual place. Uh, we often see sprint shifters put in a position where you can get them with your thumb in an aero hoods position, but he has his sprint shifters uh, so that he could actually change in the drops in like a trigger position behind the brake lever. Interesting. 
something else that's quite unusual for a pro bike, you know, as someone who's seen a lot of pro bikes over the years, is the number of spacers that Sam's got in there. So it's 30 centimetres, not 30 centimetres, three centimetres of spacers. But while that's not an, an, you know, an unusual thing for most people's bikes, for, for a pro, they normally run them slammed. So that's pretty cool, but it's obvious that he, he really does value, you know, the fit and getting the right fit and position on his bike sort of head over heart, I think what that is, um, which is good to see. The wheels are Swiss side Hadrons. They're one of the sponsors of the team and also a sort of technical consultancy partner of the team as well, uh, providing sort of aerodynamics expertise and performance expertise. Uh, on those, there's Continental GP5000s and they're 28 millimeters, kind of the standard sort of thing that we see these days. Um, and they're interestingly not set up tubeless though. They are a tubeless tire, but they've got inner tubes in and I can tell that from the valve that's, uh, that's situated down there. Pretty deep wheels as well. And you know, he likes those being a sprinter. So 62.5 millimeters, I believe they are. So well, that's clues in the name, I guess. Um, but yeah, like that's, you know, we see riders more often using sort of 40 mil wheels these days. So yeah, noticeably deep. Uh, pedals are look uh, Keo carbon uh, blades with ceramic bearings in them. Very nice. Uh, other things, classic 160 rotor, 140 rotor at the rear. Uh, Elite Legero carbon bottle cages, uh, very light. And yeah, that's about it. Pretty, uh, pretty stock other than that. I'm going to pick it up and see what this free up sounds like because Swiss side Hadrons often do, they sound pretty good. Oh, it's light. Oh, that's good, that. It sounds like DC Swiss. I think it might be DC Swiss internals. And he's got his brakes set up the wrong way around. Nearly forgot, wax, wax chain patrol, AG2R edition. oily. I mean, they've won so many races this year. Think how many more they could have won. As mentioned, this is his third bike at the moment. It was presumably at one point his first bike and it's sort of been relegated now to his third bike um, because it has been ridden quite a lot and it does have a bit of battle damage on it. There's a few little scratches and marks I can see, but it's nice to see that it's been used. And there's a few marks uh, on the wheels, but uh, for the tour, riders often get a fresh one, a new bike, and there's a rumor that he might have a new prototype bike. As for the weight, it's really light. Uh, unfortunately, the GCN scales of trust have been stolen, uh, but the mechanics, um, and they're, they're nice guys, uh, they've told me that it's about 7.2 kilos, which is sort of pretty standard. A lot of pro bikes are weighing that, and especially considering it's got the deeper wheels in, that's pretty good. Oh, it is saddle height, in case you're wondering. Um, some of you probably are. Uh, 72 and a half centimetres. Cool. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this look at Sam Bennett's bike. Uh, if you have and you, and you like seeing pro bike videos, um, then make sure you subscribe for more because we've got loads coming and we've done loads of them in the past. Right, I'm going to go and find some more bikes. I'm also going to put some sunscreen on. It's, it, lots, it's very sunny here at the tour. Love you, bye.